little disclaimer. Apologize for this, but the video that you're watching right now, I didn't think about it, but I didn't show the buttons for the thing. Max explaining how to do and stuff like that, so it should be really obvious and stuff. So. so you click the part where you messed up or something. Click split. And, and like if you want to cut this whole part out, click that. And just in case you didn't want to do that, you click this redo button thing, undo. And yeah, it gives the video back. So yeah, basically really easy. If you want to detach the voice, you can do that. Then you want to do the same thing, redo. Duplicate. You could, um, try to duplicate. Click this, the button, if you're going to duplicate it. And yeah, it's really easy. If you want to put it somewhere, something in the middle of the thing, you could do that. It's optional, I don't know. But yeah, basically easy how you do this. And I really don't know how to freaking, like, I don't have to do slow mode or fast mode. I don't know how to do that. But if you want to lower your voice or something you're talking or do you want to play music in the background, you can't really use your music and stuff. You could turn the music down or up. It doesn't matter. But since I'm not talking this video, if you want to turn it all the way down, can't really hear anything. But if I turn it all the way up, you hear stuff. It's really easy. If you want to add text, click the type of text you want. I usually go with um this prism tile text you can put anything you want really if you want to just say part like lol or something do that go away it can go like that really easy to do uh, that's how i really love iMovie and if you guys want to add a music to your video or something you would go to since you have to buy any music from itunes and no one wants to buy music and spend money just to put music in your videos really short trick or hack or something i don't know Get the music you want to play. I usually play the instrumental music because I don't want to get copyrighted for playing like Emily Chopper or something like that. I don't want to get copyrighted for them. But I usually just play monologue. I think I, I think it's a good instrumental music thing. I usually play Otis McDonald too. If you guys want to, um, not for nothing. Easy. I think everybody uses. I love this music though. Watch this short video Bro, what? I don't want to freaking add you. You click wood not for nothing and you would put it there. But since my thing is being stupid, you just click not for nothing, you will play it, record it, and then part you wanna stop it, click stop, go back to iMovie, click add, click the plus sign, click videos, this, this, three dots, audio only, you can add music, simple. So now so I'm trying to save basically saving on money right now. But I mean, this is a trick I use all the time, so I don't have to pay money because I don't want to pay six dollars, you know. And if you want to change like the um the background or something, change it to, like a different thing, you could do that. If you want to add a voiceover, you could go back up here, voiceover. You could click and just record, and then after that, it's just say something like, "Let me just show you guys." I don't know what I'm doing. And then you want to click this, and just say talk, say hi, 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 talk, review. If you want to retake it, click retake, cancel. If you just change your mind, click cancel. And if you want to accept it, just accept it. You can accept it. Yeah. That's how you guys basically I do all that. It's really easy. That's how I love iMovie. And if I, you, y'all guys have to use, I'm trying to get used to Filmmaker Pro and Pixar. I might do another video on that if I learn how to do it and stuff like that. But basically, I make a thumbnail. I don't know if my thumbnails. Go to Thumbnail Maker. It's really, I love Thumbnail Maker. It's really good. I'm just click it. Alright, so use photo and then you would just put so if you want to type a text, I'll just say hi. Hi. You click the font, the color, put like yellow, well, that's not orange, I think, and then color stroke, make it pop out a lot. It's just really easy. I just love this. And if you want to, hold on, if you want to add an image, you would do this. And then you use photo, and then you would do that. You just pick a part where you want, like, small, you want to use it and stuff. Click that. You would change the settings if you want to have that. And then you just add it there. It's really easy. That's all I love it. You add music there, something like that. It's easy. And then you want to add emojis. YouTube. All the moves you want to add. And to keep in mind, 
the red the red um the red crowns thing if you if you um click that click that top five you have to pay two dollars to unlock all the stickers which isn't really bad but i'm not spending that money because you just get them for free or download something else like pixar but yeah all the red with the red crowns you cannot get that you have to pay for it but yeah i mean i'm fine with it but i'm not paying for it though if you want to just like that, you have to pay for it. You have to pay for a lot of stuff. Like, look, you have to pay seven dollars for one time purchase. You wouldn't pay a month. People say, I, I would say that's really bad, because if you want to change the contrast, you would do that. And then if you decide you're done with your thumbnail, you're ready to upload it or put to YouTube video, you would click the arrow, huh? The arrow, and then if you want to move the monomark, you can't use it. You have to pay two dollars. You just save the picture. Go here, YouTube Studio. Then you would go to the YouTube app. I mean, I pro y'all probably knew, y'all probably already know this, but you would go here, then click that. Then next, add a title, add a subscription, description, click upload. And yeah, that's basically how to do it. And when you upload a video, you would go to YouTube Studio. I, I recommend downloading you go to YouTube Studio. You would go to just say I want to change the thumbnail on this video here. But you have to take a picture to get the thumbnail. Add thumbnail. If you want to pick a thumbnail, click that. Click select. And always click save. I'm sorry. And click save. That's how you create a thumbnail. But I'm not using that because I already have my thumbnail. That's basically how you do the thumbnail stuff like that. So that's basically the end of the video. Hope you guys do enjoy. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. To make sure to turn on those notifications so you get notified when I upload a video. But you your game in. If you guys want, I could post a, a Warzone video tomorrow. I promise you, I'll post a Warzone video because I love Warzone. I'm getting better at it. And yeah, peace out.